Jesse's working on his bike, and we thought we'd have some fun. And a lot of the tests that we do and the, the things I model and demonstrate to you guys, you think of, well, is it really worth it or this or that? So we have something that is a common complaint on motorcycles for a tip of the day, and that is whether the exhaust gaskets are leaking up at the head, okay? And especially on an older motorcycle, what year's the motor? 92. 92, how many miles? 31,000. 31,000, so it probably has like 100,000. It's probably changed speedos like five times, right, because it's been wrecked. But you'll have, you could have a bunch of top end noise that sounds like you need valve adjustment. And that was where this all drove this was the question of, God, it's really noisy. I kind of got this ticket in here. And I said, you know, one thing that's nice to just get out of the way is get exhaust leaks out of the way. Because especially by the head, it can really be uh, amplified through there. So to do that, what we're going to do to be ridiculously sure is we're going to use our smoke machine from Blue Point. And I love this. I mean, I've done so many videos proving integrity of sealing cases, sealing motors or whatnot using this. And you can see here, we just stuffed it in the exhaust. We kind of put some tape around as much as we could to not have leaks anywhere. And uh, Jesse, why don't you take over? Do you remember, cause tell them how we set the motor. We set a top dead center compression. And why do we need to do that? So it closes both the valves so we can test the sealing of it. Oh, 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 oh. Jesse's talking about is we're trying to make sure that these valves are closed because we want to push that smoke up into the exhaust. We want the closed valve to then allow it to backtrack and we'll be able to seal, see whether that seal is actually doing its job. Okay. Now, if the valves leak in significantly, it's going to leak right on past. But the great thing about that smoke machine and these smoke machines is that 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 uh, smoke will literally just try to find a hole and leak its way out, which you'll see here right now. Let's follow Jesse doing it. Grab your flashlight. So you see how the, it's starting to smoke, but it's, it's actually going out the other spark plug holes. We're only testing this cylinder right now. You can see it leaking back there, bud. So proving that we got smoke going in there. It's filling all the way up now because it's a four into one pipe it's gonna go out the other side but if we really focus around this gasket we've got a good seal on this gasket does that make sense yep. anyway what do you think Jesse good so far I think that your motorcycle is a vaping machine <laughs> Notice too, like when we cheat and we do something like this, you turned it off there. When you cheat and you do something like this, how easy is it to get bad data? Pretty easy. Yeah, because if you're not being real intentional and being ready and having the tools ready and then thinking, okay, what am I trying to accomplish here? I'm gonna go through here, go around here, prove whether this one's good. We'll let it dissipate for a second here. Then how we, uh, should we show them how we got the motor in position? Sure. Go for it. Watch how we do this. So we're done with this cylinder. We're gonna to move to this one. So because we know theory, like on our cutaway, yeah, if you just stay right there, I think that'll be good. Since we know theory from our cutaway, we know if we turn the motor in the right direction of travel, I'll look down this port and I'll tell Jesse, okay, right there, it just closed. Okay, so now I would take, and I'm gonna look down the spark plug hole. Go ahead and tap it. Right there. Let's just, it happened so quick, let's go through the whole cycle again. So I'm gonna watch him move the intake valve open and closed. Okay, it's opening. Okay, right there. I'm looking down the spark plug hole, tap it up, right there. Okay, this piston's all the way at top dead center. Go do your test again, and now we can check the next gasket. See how this one's leaking now? That baby is sealed up. I mean, if it were leaking, it would be pouring out of there. Does that make sense? So if we don't have exhaust leaks, then what do we know about that noise? Valve's broken. Yeah, probably be due for a valve adjustment, right? Do these get maintained as well as they should be? Not usually. Okay. You're gonna. Yep doing a lot of cool stuff to this so awesome well that's our tip of the day we're having fun we're gonna keep at it keep wrenching
share, like, subscribe.